hello. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Benita, and here we talk about all the things that we love as it relates to lifestyle and luxury. Today, we have another a luxury video. We're gonna talk about luxury fragrances today. Thanks to our sponsor of today's video, Dossier. If you have not tried a Dossier, I'm gonna leave a link and a coupon code down below. But without further ado, we're gonna get right into the video. So Dossier is a wonderful company. It is a sustainable company, cruelty-free. It also uses clean ingredients in its products. There's no price markups. That's why Dossier can provide a luxury inspired scents at a fraction of the cost. So this is my second sponsorship with Dossier and so I want to do something a little bit different I'm um, getting to know the company and the brand a little bit better you know going through their website I realized that they are really on top of today's sense what people are mostly talking about they really have a great line of the luxury inspired sense so if you're like me if you're like a, a researcher um, an information gatherer, um, nosy, and a Googler, I said, well, I wonder what are the scents that everyone is looking for? What are the most popular scents? And I wanted to see if Dossier had a luxury inspired scent as it relates to, you know, what's popular. So in doing some research, I came across the Global Cosmetic Industry Market Report, and they compiled a list every year at the end of the year for the most searchable or the most Googled fragrances in the world. So we're gonna look at that list from 2020. Obviously, it's not ready now. We're only halfway through the year, but each year they do, you know, what are the most Googled fragrances in the world? So you got to think globally. You can't think about, you know, your little niche group, what, you know, is popular, what you most hear, but these are the fragrances. And I'm going to give you 10 fragrances for women that are the most Googled in the world. So the first fragrance, the first perfume for women that is the number one most Googled fragrance in the world is Estee Lauder Estee. Right. Had no idea. This fragrance is a very feminine body of fragrances. So if you're looking for something like that, and there's two that I can think of right off the bat, Floral Ylang Lang and also Floral Jasmine. Those are the two prominent scents or notes, if you will. I think if you would try one of those two on Dossier, I think you will get you would kind of get a good idea of what that Estee would sound, would smell like. So if you're not into like florals or feminine, then that may not be the best one for you. The number two most Google fragrance on the list is Versace's Eros, and that smells really good. Dossier does have a product, it's luxury inspired by that one, and it is called the Embery Mint. That's only $29. If you've never tried Versace's Eros, go ahead and maybe give the $29 luxury inspired version to try and that's again is ambery mint fragrance on the third spot of the most google fragrances in the world i would think this one i knew this one would make the list but i would think it would be a little bit higher but again you got to think globally it's none other than the carolina herrera good girl this is one of my daughter's favorites they both love this fragrance and dossier has a luxury inspired one if you've never tried good girl you may want to hop over to dossier and give this a try first. This one is called the Floriental Almond. And again, this one is only $29. And the top notes on the first notes that you smell of the perfume when you spray it is almond and peach. Orange Blossom and Tuberose. And then the base notes are Tonka Bean and Vanilla Cocoa. To me, this one is going to be like a flower fruity dessert so if you want to smell like feminine yet sweet i think this one is going to be a good one for you the fragrance in the fourth spot is going to be mark jacobs daisy this one is very popular a lot of people speak on this fragrance that they absolutely love it it's an everyday fragrance for a lot of people that i know fragrance notes from mark jacobs it says it's a fruity top with wild berries a floral heart with white violet jasmine and feminine bay sandalwood. Now, I don't pretend to be like a fragrance expert. I'm just learning more about fragrances because as you know, I have one signature fragrance. But that's the great thing about Dossier. It has allowed me to safely experience 
other fragrances that I may like and that I may enjoy. For this one from Marc Jacobs, if you like all of those things but you're not quite sure what fragrance to choose over on Dossier. They have everything broken out into categories. You have the fruity category, um, the oriental, the floral category, the woodsy category. You can see all of their fragrances in a category and you can kind of choose one, two, three fragrances, whatever you'd like. You can choose those fragrances that you like out of those categories. The fifth item on the list, this fragrance was just spoken about by Delana over on um, Brown Girl Lux. I'll link her video down below. But she talked about this fragrance as one of her essentials that she really, really loved. And it's going to be the YSL Libre. Dossier has a luxury inspired scent of the YSL Libre that I'm going to get. And it is called the Floral Lavender. And the notes to that is Mandarin, Neroli, Black Currant. The middle note is going to be Jasmine, Lavender, Orange Blossom. And the final note is Vanilla amber musk that smells really good number six on the list is going to be lancome idole unfortunately i've never smelled or experienced this popular perfume but dossier does have a luxury inspired version of it and that one is called floral musk so if you think you would like those notes all together i would definitely give it a shot moving right along number seven on the list is narcisco rodriguez for her this is very popular Popular. I would imagine that this one definitely made the list of, and this one is called over on dossier It's called musky rose number eight on the list is Calvin Klein euphoria This is a tried and true fragrance. I have smelled this fragrance. It's a little too woodsy for me But this is this has been very popular over the years So it's fun to see that some of the traditional fragrances are still popular and most searched and the ninth fragrance on the list is Lancôme V. Le Este Bell. Not friends, so I hope I pronounced that right. And Dossier's luxury response to that would be Gourmand Orange Blossom. This one sounds really good because I like orange, mandarin, sweet type smells. The final, the number 10 most searched Googled fragrance of 2020 was Gucci Bamboo. So Gucci Bamboo, it's noted that the main scents are white florals. And over on Dossier, they actually have a fragrance called Gourmand White Floral. So that may be similar to something that you would like if you like Gucci Bamboo. So those were the 10 top Googled fragrances in the world for the entire year of 2020. So then I thought, well, I wonder what are the top fragrances on YouTube? And without a doubt, the one that kept coming up over and over again is MFK Baccarat 540. So when Dossier reached out to work with me again, I, I did not hesitate. I said, go ahead and send me over the luxury inspired version of Baccarat 540. And this one is called Ambery Saffron. It smells really good. I'm gonna wear this, for, I'm gonna try to wear this for the next month to, to determine how it does on me, if I really like it, and if this is something that I want to continue to purchase. You do not have to be afraid to purchase from Dossier. You have 30 days to return any fragrance that you do not like. And don't worry, I got you. Of course, we have a discount code. I'll link it down below. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to link Dossier's website down below. Go over, check out what they have to offer. Make sure you click on the scents category. That's where I got most of my research. That's why I was able to kind of see what I like. Thanks again to Dossier for sponsoring today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.